всем привет, друзья! Добро пожаловать на канал Real Moscow Project. И вы видите за мной, за моей спиной флаг Украины. А это значит, что мы пришли на выставку, посвященную истории Украины, которая проходит в центре Москвы, на Манежной площади, в Манеже. И вход на нее совершенно бесплатен. Давайте кратенько ознакомимся. И... И все. Если же станете ненавидеть друг друга, ссорятся, то и сами победите. И победите дверцов и героев ваших. И нас прямо со входа встречают кадры э, разрушенного Мариуполя, так полагаю. Что, в общем, сразу как-то погружает в какую-то такую мрачноватую с конца атмосферу. Окей, okay, guys, for those who do not speak Russian, I will translate briefly. Uh, this text tells us about uh, the thing that on uh, genetic level uh, Russians, Ukrainian people and Belarusian people are very common. We all are one people. We all are genetically very close. Uh, on that part, uh, it is said that Ukraine means uh, Ukraine. Look at each each part of of a, con of a country, uh, each part of a country, and uh, the, wo uh, the word the Ukrainians or Ukrainian uh, in English means that uh, it was uh, это, пограничные служивые люди, обеспечивающие защиту внешних рубежей. Uh, warriors from the как это, warriors from the border who uh, who protect who protects who guards and who protects uh, the uh, the country. Okay. <laughs> and this part shows us uh, all uh, uh, Russian. Uh, Uh, kings, uh, uh, all Russian rulers, from uh, Vladimir the, the Saint, uh, uh, the как принц, наверное, все-таки, да? Как князь будет по-английски? Князь, наверное, это принц. Принц of Novgorod uh, uh, and the great, the great, the great князь of Kiev, and. Александр Невский и Петр I, и так далее, и так далее. Окей, ребята, кто не говорит русский, я покажу вам эту красивую Это Екатерина II, великая русская императрица из Романов династии. И она была та, кто... Как бы Саша, подскажи. Who create all the Ukrainian territories? And you maybe heard that uh, there was a monument for her in uh, Odessa, and the Ukrainians just destroyed that monument. So they themselves says that Yekaterina the Second should be destroyed. Even if she... <laughs> they, they, uh, they don't want to have anything with their own history. <laughs> And here in Russia, in Moscow, in the center of Moscow, you can see that... That we remember that Ye Ekaterina II was the one uh, who just created All the, the Ukrainian territory, and uh, and here you can see all the uh, cities on the territory of Ukraine that was uh, uh, created during uh, Yekaterina II rule. It was Dnipropetrovsk, Kherson, Mariupol, Sevastopol, Simferopol, Melitopol, Nikolaev, Tiraspol, and Odessa. All these cities exist only because of Ekaterina II. And here you can see how uh, different uh, countries, как это сказать, присутствовали на территории нынешней Украины, came to the territory of uh, today's Ukraine. 
you can see now green is uh, Russian kingdom uh, there uh, Poland uh, on that part in the center you can see it so uh, Ukraine in her uh, today's borders uh, exists not very long because it always um, become a part of different uh, you may uh, add the uh, comment uh, add subtitles uh, when I... I I may add the subtitles, but I don't want. I'm lazy. Uh, that is was the period of golden uh, horde Ma uh, of Mamai, and you know all that things. So you can see how it's changed. during the years. This uh, can you can hear history about uh, uh, Novorossia, the old name of the territory of Ukraine, but uh, it is all in uh, Russian and I won't film it because it's very long. Okay guys, so this part uh, is named Project Ukraine and you see the dates. Uh, before 1914, uh, uh, there was no Ukraine, like um, like it is now, because uh, I will try very uh, okay in the 20th uh, years of uh, 20th century, uh, Soviet. Uh, national politic uh, on, on uh, national level said that now will exist three different people Russian, Ukrainian and Belarusian so Ukrainian Ukraine like uh, country appeared because of Soviet uh, politics in 20th uh, in 20s uh, years of 20th century. Before that, there was no Ukraine, and it would not be any Ukraine if uh, if Soviet uh, politics wouldn't say, "Okay, now you are Ukrainian people. Now you are uh, not only Russians, but you are Ukrainian. Not only Soviet, but Ukrainian." Uh, this film uh, tells us about Donbas and that it was. Uh, the main uh, uh, Soviet uh, um, industrial part of Ukraine because there was a lot of coal and it was uh, a place where all the coal, a lot of coal was uh, and this part uh, tells us about years of uh, Second World War or Great uh, Patriotic War and it's all about years of Ukraine. Ukraine. Uh, you can see here a lot of uh, numbers about all years, about all uh, um, not heroes also because uh, in Ukraine was not only heroes, but those who uh, came to the to the side of uh, Third Reich of uh, German uh, soldiers and dreamed uh, to kill their own people. So there were heroes, but not only heroes. And this is about not heroes. This is about Bandera and uh, all those uh, nation nationalists uh, who killed their own people, who were uh, in love with uh, Third Reich and their. Uh, I just don't know how to say it because I'm really shocked. I'm sorry, guys. I I can't imagine it. And this part tells us about uh, that Ukraine was one of the most uh, rich uh, parts of USSR 
and that uh, Ukraine and Russia for all uh, for centuries was uh, one uh, economical system and it was very rich uh, but in 1991 uh, when USSR uh, was destroyed Ukraine become uh, different country so everything from that from that time everything went wrong <laughs> Uh, this part tells us about uh, very famous Russian uh, celebrities and uh, Russian scientists and sportmen, sportmen and, and so on, who were born uh, on Ukrainian territories. Maybe you know this guy, that is Yosef Kabzon, uh, the famous uh, Russian sing singer. And uh, this Nikolai Amosov, uh, very famous Russian uh, scientist and uh, uh, medical scientist. A hero, sur surgery. And here you can see two girls. One is Russian, the second is Ukrainian. And uh, this... Uh, there, there are... Uh, words that says uh, that uh, the friendship of uh, Russian and Ukrainian is uh, forever. <laughs> and then suddenly something, everything went wrong because uh, they came USA, they said we want to use your country to destroy Russia, uh, they, uh, they made everything for growing of подожди, for growing of uh, nationalism on Ukraine uh, and hatred and uh, and and all all that and I don't know what to say about all this part because uh, we can see here is the Ukraine is not Russia <laughs> okay and this part is about Maidan and everything that begin after that so I don't know what to tell you about this if you're watching this video you know something you may read something the main idea is that uh, is that USA made everything to make Ukraine go away from Russia and all economical uh, all economical relationships with Russia and away from all relationships with Russia but but as you saw in other parts of this exhibition Russia and Ukraine always was together always was uh, friends have you saw ever this guys just watch it this that is that is very strange I, I don't know how to tell you about it because I'm really very shocked about all the situation. I mean that why, why they did it? Why they said, "Ha, ah, Russia, we don't want to be with you, Bandera Batka Nash." <laughs> they here, Bandera was one who killed their own people. Um, this film is about uh, people who now fights on Ukraine from Donbass and from uh, Western Ukraine and they said we are all brothers we don't need to fight but we are uh, 
were forced to do it because because some politics from the West said, ah, Russian is bad, ah, Donbass is bad, you, you should kill them all. But this, but these people, these warriors from Donbass says that we are not enemies, we are brothers. Okay, guys, we finished walking around this uh, wonderful exhibition. And what should I say? Uh, the uh, short uh, re resume about all this exhibition and all history of Ukraine. We have nothing to argue uh, with each other. We are. We have long uh, history and we are the one people and uh, uh, I'm sorry uh, there were our uh, policemen so I decided not to film them uh, because uh, let's uh, do, uh, we, we don't want to как это мешать им and uh, it's windy today. Okay, it doesn't matter. Okay, what I wanted to say. Russian and Ukrainian people are the same people. We are one. We are united from old, old times. So it's really a very painful situation for all Russia. That now everything that is happening in Ukraine is happening now. Because we are brothers. We are really brothers brothers from the very very old time we are even genetically very uh, very very windy, sorry we're even genetically brothers so if you speak russian if you know if you can read russian and if you are now in moscow I really recommend you to come here and to read about all the long, long, long history of Ukraine and Russia. It is wonderful. It's very interesting and everyone should see it.